For a swimming enthusiast like you, you probably know that the accuracy of swimming distance on a Garmin watch depends on setting the correct pool size, avoiding changes in stroke styles, not stopping mid-swim, and not intentionally rotating your wrist at the pool ends. However, there's an even more powerful trick, using the drill log feature. The drill log feature can be utilized in various scenarios, such as single arm stroke training, swimming with the left arm going out and the right arm coming back, or kickboard drills. It is highly recommended to use the drill log in these cases. You may have swimming drills that reduce arm movements, which can lead to discrepancies between the recorded distance and the actual distance. Follow these steps on your watch. This video will demonstrate using the Forerunner 965, but the process is the same for other five-button Garmin watches. 1. Press the Start Slash Stop button. 2. Select Pool Swim. 3. Press the Start Slash Stop button to start recording. 4. Press the Down button to find the drill log page. 5. Follow the on-screen instructions and press the Back button to start recording the drill log. 6. Upon completing the drill, press the back button again. 7. A prompt will appear to manually input the distance swum during the drill. 8. Press the up button to exit the drill log. 9. When you finish the entire pool swimming activity, press the start slash stop button to end the activity. Note, although the title mentions using the drill log feature during a swim activity, you can also start the drill log directly by pressing to the drill log page and pressing the start button first. When you finish the activity, press the back button to directly record the drill log. When using the drill log, a swimming interval will be created. In the watch's history records, you can select the interval to view detailed information within each set. On the Garmin Connect app, you can see detailed drill data by turning your phone horizontally in the laps. The training distance will count towards the total distance, and the training time will count towards the total swimming time. 